Hello again. Uh, okay, uh, yesterday was my day off and I had a little bit of spending cash and some time, so went out and got a couple of trays and got busy here. Uh, uh, my place is a bit uh, thrashed, so if you kept any views of this, uh, I heard in a movie once that all geniuses are slobs, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So here is my new duckweed tank and uh, it's pretty big about 60 liters and I'm feeding this with a diluted worm compost solution right now um, later on it'll go into an aquaponic system and be fed by uh, by aquatic creatures and we'll see how I've heard that uh, they don't really like high oxygen but in my experience they do much better with the little bubbler they tend to stack up around it and they like it and ordinarily this light would be completely over this tank and this is the new crayfish habitat. There's lots of black uh, lava rock on the bottom to help the nitrogen scale get going. Here's a little uh, AquaClear filter my buddy gave me. Works just fine for this size. Now, they're in there right now. I think the female is under here. There she is. And they're pretty uh, tough, aggressive little guys. Oh, she went inside her little tube there. But uh, you got to watch them. They'll, they're gutsy, though. They'll, they'll come and get you. There's a couple more there. And uh, again, this tank, uh, not too much light. So I put in excess vegetative matter uh, from the other tanks. Because they grow like crazy. You can see they've just eaten this down to nothing. Uh, this slowly decomposes. And as it does, uh, the uh, crayfish eat on it. And eventually, when this tank matures, the duckweed tank will be suspended above it and we'll get an aquaculture aquaponic system working here and see how much duckweed I can produce to feed back to the fish. So that's what's going on for now. Talk to you soon.